Right. Okay. This time, we've had it all, okay? We've had it all. We've had the wonky forgetty eye. It grew like this, it was not good. We reported it, we we had a, an unpleasant time, I suppose. We then had absolute chaos with the anthurium crystallinum and then we said, no, 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 no more, no more. No, we're done. We don't, no, we don't need this. This is not for us. Then we reported a giant magnificum and we said, hell, looks like we're still at it. But today, in my final report of the things I have to do today, I'm really hoping that this will go smoothly. I really, I can't do this anymore, guys. I can't do this. So anyway, hello, everybody. Glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this video. Today, this should hopefully, this should be simple. Why? Because I can't imagine anything wrong. So this here. This is the guy that I've been growing in the background for weeks. It's one of the guys, right? The, the lovely big silvery boy. He's grown a bit funky because he's grown up towards some lights. He's been growing among other plants. So he's not, he will place himself a lot nicer than what he is, but he's very big and very healthy and very beautiful. He is, I don't know if he's past his arm in white or silver. I can never, I can never tell. I, 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 I would imagine the white is more white than the silver. So I'm going to call this one silver. Um, yeah, uh, I've split my gloves. It's been, it's been one of the days. We're just going to roll with it. Why not? Why not? Um, we're going to repot him. I had to do it today because he's growing all along out of the pot, but he hasn't grown downwards yet. And that's very important because I need him to still be growing along when I repot him. He's in Lekka. He's had a bunch of feed. He may have had root rot at some point because it's very easy for that particular tray to run out of water because there's so much in it and it's so large. We're just going to see what he looks like. So I'm going to get the Lekka out. This shouldn't be any problems. It's just a pot of lecker. This is, is going to be great. And then behind me, I have a, I think this is 22 centimeters, same as the other stuff you've seen me pot, I think. Uh, yeah, same size as some of the other stuff. We're going to pot him in that and he should have a great time. Get him stable and I want him in my house, guys. I want him in my house. Sorry, I'm just taking out a bit of pawn. In fact, let's just pull this out and then eh, get that in there. <sighs> Lovely. Pond dust. If you didn't catch it on my last three videos, I've been rather unwell. So regular content will resume upon the return of my good health. So until then, we're doing this. Right. Do I have anything for Lekka? I have an itchy bum. That's very embarrassing. What's in here? No. What's in here? No. Have I really just put pawn in everything? That seems a bit, a bit much, doesn't it? Let me just get... Uh, the roots out of here from the previous video. One second, guys. One second. Right. Um, that'll do. That's fine. I just need something for... There we go. Something for good old Lekka, because we don't have anything for Lekka. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. It, it's okay. Right. So, first thing, let's get the plant out, shall we? Hey, guys. Just want to jump in here real quick and talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Aura. Have you ever tried just Googling your name on Google and just seeing what pops up? Literally. Because I did the other day and what I found genuinely shocked me. I found all kinds of personal information like my address, things like my full name. There was just directory result after directory result that I really don't want out there, either for advertising purposes or just plain old privacy purposes. I actually can't believe that this stuff is even allowed on the internet, like that genuinely surprises me. It genuinely makes me feel uneasy knowing that all of this information is just out there for anyone to see, including stuff, this is the worst part, including stuff about my family members that aren't even me, that are connected to me, than just anybody could see. I feel like there's a lot of people out there that don't know that information like this just exists about them on the internet. And I also feel like people don't realize that there is actually a way to remove it because I didn't either. That's why I've started using Aura. Aura helps me take back control of my personal information online. They alert me when my personal details are being sold to data brokers and they automatically remove any of this information from all the websites. In light of recent data breaches like the AT&T incident, where over 73 million customer records were released on the dark web, 73 million. Being able to use a service like Aura is more important now than it ever has been. They provide all round protection, whether it's monitoring data leaks to protecting from identity theft, and it's all in one place, so you don't have to juggle multiple apps. I can now rest assured that Aura is always running in the background to keep my information safe and my privacy intact. If you value your privacy as much as I do, head to aura.com forward slash Kaylee for a two week free trial and try it for yourself. The link is in the description of this video as well as on screen. Thank you so much Aura and back to the video. Easy, not expecting any problems. And this is not me building up to a big problem. I'm really expecting no problems today. So 
I mean, the worst case scenario is the roots of the skull. <laughs> she says, oh, don't, do not. It's lecker, come on. Slap it, slap it, slap it. Oh my goodness. Oh, I did not expect this. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. We are okay. Good things have happened. Good, nice pot, no roots left in it. Love it. But the roots have encased the lacquer. So first things first. <laughs> Smack myself in the head. Let me get this off. Hopefully without damaging any foliage, that would be very unfortunate. What is this? There's like a big lump of something in here. I think it's the old, um, like, chunk it's come from or something. I don't know. I'll show you in a minute. I'll, I'll zoom in as soon as I've got this out. It smells like, like cut vegetables. It's quite right, actually. Right, that's lecker out. Move out of the way. I'm going to put this down. Oh, I hate doing this. So scary when you've got such pretty foliage. You know what I mean? Right, I'll put that here. I'm gonna try and zoom you in so you can see what I am saying. Can you get into that? No. Move you down a bit. Absolute nightmare, this right there. That is what you require. Can't get you in any closer because that's just the nature of it. But, 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 I see some stuff. So that's, that's dead, that. That didn't even take anything to remove. There is, it's on the other side, this look. It's like a big fibrous, chunk or something and I'm wondering if it was I, I don't know what is that oh I'm just gonna pull it I know that's bad no it's like it's actual wait what guys I don't know I don't know what this is <laughs> no honestly tell me what this is tell me what this is can you see this I need to move back tell me guys what is this it's like five I don't think it's the inside of a like a chunk what is it? There, go back in case it's struggling to focus. It, like, what? I don't understand. Hold on, let me zoom out for the sake of me showing you. What is this? What doth it do? It's so poker straight, I don't think it's the inside of a plant. It's like it's coir fiber, but I don't know why. Why? <coughs> anyway, moving on. Not a clue. Get rid of that. So. Let's have a look, see what the damage is. Because it this does get uh, missed warings. It does have an effect on the plant. It really does, because it's just... There needs to be less plants in the tree than what there are. Right, that's come off. Oh, it's a big chunk, that. Big, big chunk. I wonder if I can cut some of that. Oh, God, maybe not. To be honest, the root mass is an all right amount, so I don't really want to cut it. It's quite nice. I'd prefer not to disturb this one too much, because I want to actually keep at least one plant nice. Because, you know, why not? Oh God, oh God, I'm screwing up a leaf real bad. No, don't do it, I love you. Um, it's not bad. I mean, there's tiny, tiny, tiny bits. I don't know if you can see on camera or not. Can you where you are? You might, I don't know. There's tiny bits of rot, but we're talking like, there's like one, one root every, you know, well, lots of roots. And I can't really, it's a bit rotty that one. I can't really sort of, just individually take out one root, if that makes sense. It's quite difficult, that. What the hell that was. So I might just have to leave that, but it's, it, honestly, it looks worse than it is. It's all right. There are some duds, but I can't possibly go through and thread that. Just have to look for the obvious, really. <coughs> oh, I love coughing. Oh, shit. My lights have gone off. I'm only bent to put them on. That's not good. Hang on, guys. Just need to do a bit of magic here. Um, how about that? I don't want that to blow out, but I think it's going to... You know what, guys? I've been filming here so late, right? So late that my lighting has gone off. Because I'm filming this. Not at night. Don't want to say at night. But not, you know, not in, in good time. So that's kind of annoying. I'll have to ask Ben to put it on in a bit, because I don't actually know how I'm going to show you this. But anyway, I don't even know what I was saying, because the lights went off, so it's gone now. It's just gone. But I think that looks all right. I don't really want to screw with that. I'm quite happy with it. Just pull off some bits here, like that. And I think I just, literally, guys, I just don't want to do anything to upset this plant. I can't deal with it. It's not fun. We don't want. So, with that said, I'm going to move them out of the way. Oh, God. Pop there. Get a little bit of good old-fashioned, ew. 
Good old fashioned ooh in it. Uh, what's come out of this? Oh, I don't even know. Looks like an anthium. Yeah. So, oh God, it's got loads in it. No. Sorry guys, my pond's got loads of crap in it now. I have to pick it out as we go through. That's going to slow me down. Oh no. How? How? Yeah, it's from the mag that I can tell. Oh, by the way, the roots are gone. Right, so. Oh no. Stop. Just stop. Right. Let's have a look at how far this is going to go. Because I obviously, I mean, this isn't going to last very long, is it? Oh no, that's not even going to go in the pot. Oh, you know what? I'm so sick. I'm so sick to death of today. That would have to, it's going to have to be cut then. I didn't want to do that. Are you joking? I didn't want to do that. How much should I lose if I cut it? Oh, not a lot. Okay. Sorry, guys. We, we have to cut that. We literally have to cut that. I can't get that in the bloody pot. Oh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm going to have to. So at least here. Because it's not going to happen for us. Yeah, pull that off. Right. I know I said I didn't want to upset it, but I'm going to have to upset it at this point. I could even take a bit more off. Couldn't I? Get that there and that there. Oh, hang on. Oh, I love the smell of... um. Not every philodendron, but a lot of them when you cut them. It's really nice. Right, we're going to take that off as well. So that's another chunk, like such. Bosh. There we go. Right, that has to be good enough. It's probably not even stable in the pot now. Can you see this? I hope you can. Apologies for the darkness, guys. Right. That's a good amount of root for that pot as well. I quite like that. I oh, would love to cut more off, but I literally cannot do that. Which means the next leaf's going to grow off the pot. Love that for me. So basically, there's another one that has to have a new pot immediately. So we need to buy some pots, is what that means. Let's pop this up, like that, good. This might need some stakes in, I don't think it's gonna hold very well, especially now I've cut that bottom bit off. Pull some of the crap off. I don't know why I've decided to do it that way. Oh, a bit weird, isn't it? There, I guess. Yeah, that'll do. Oh no, oh no, no. Right, we're gonna have to stake this. This is not gonna be a vibe otherwise. And all my stakes are over there. Oh, I do this every damn time, every damn time. Oh God. Hang on guys, I need to bring this with me. And grab the stakes, right, okay. Okay, okay, okay here. Hold on to it. Do this. Key. And then. Right. Definitely one here. Absolutely. Definitely one probably here. Like that. Does that do anything? Oof, not a lot, does it? Not a lot. Try again. Like that. Like that. I want them to go down as much as they can. Otherwise, it won't work for me. Come on. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. I couldn't run out of this tape. It's quite sad. I wanted to use it for other stuff, but here we are. Right. So this one here absolutely needs taping to this, I think, in order to hold it. And this will be the main point of holding it, I think. We'll just wrap that round. Then if you can see what is occurring or not here. Right. Oh, God. Right. That can sort of sit like that. And if I did the other one, that, oh, that's totally going to hold it. It's totally going to hold it, guys. Right. That'll do. Okay. I don't know why I've still got these gloves on. This is a little bit stupid at this point, isn't it? If I take this one here, it's going to act as like a giant stabilizer. And we love it. Like this. I can wrap it around like that. And the further I put it up, the more it's potentially more stabilizing. I would love to have that stronger the further up. But it's, it's not going to, I don't think it wants to do it for me. That's going that way. I don't really want it to go that way. I might have to do this tire actually. This is not working in the way that I wanted it to. There we go. Is that better? Still loose? Still loose. Sorry, you can't see any of this, but got a little problem now the lights have gone off. Right, I need to try and zoom you out. I don't know what you're gonna end up seeing here. This is not the typical setup you see this shop in. So you know what guys, I said there would be no more chaos, right? I did say it, I did, you heard me. However, that's just not what occurred, was it? 
Did I crank the ISO up a bit? Uh, yeah, that's gonna look horrible, but you'll just have to live with that, I think. Very annoying. So, how much can you see? Oh God, that looks awful, doesn't it? Sorry guys, that's essentially the camera doing fake light. That's why it looks nasty, um, but here we are. So, can you see this? Oh, I wonder if I can push this away from me. Like that, like that, like that. Okay, move this out of the way. Oh, nasty. So I've kind of tried, I mean, I don't know what I've managed to do here. It almost, it does, I mean, it does look worse. It looks worse. I don't know why I'm pretending it doesn't look worse. It absolutely does. But I put two stakes here to keep it up. And I think I can't do much better than that. They just need to learn to sort of go the right way. Because as I say, they've, they've grown a different way. I might put another one there real quick. Did I grab another one? Oh, nearly out of these. Bad, man. I think if I try and stake that one up, that will be good. But I might even do it. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's difficult, man. That is difficult. Let's try this. And then put another one there. I'm going to run out of this tape. I'm so sad. I love this tape. All right. A little bit there. Cutting less than uh, what I have previous. Because I don't actually need as much as I have been cutting. But how's that doing? Oh, my God. My glove. <laughs> Oh, right. If you could just start facing that way, young man, we'll have a great time together, you know? A great time. Just face that way. You face that way. All of you should face that way because that's the way you're supposed to grow. It really is. It really is. But you just, you don't want to do it and it upsets me. It really does. Right. That is not terrible. I guess that's kind of... I mean, if you if you put it one way, it's it's better. You can tell how it's grown versus how it should grow. Like that's the front of it there um, that I'm a bit concerned about actually, but can't do much about it. That's the front of it. It's going to smush right into the side of this part. It's, it's not a vibe, you know. I guess that's a bit of padding. I don't know. I'm going to put extra in. Look at the state of this glove. <laughs> Honestly, like, why am I wearing it at this point? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I just want to make sure it tries to put roots down by putting substrate close enough to the Mary stem, but still letting it, like, you know, you know what I mean, go across. I think that's the best we're going to get, though. Can I just take this glove off? Oh, my... The other one's coming off as well, because my hands... Ooh, didn't knife. Right. Give me the sweeping brush. Lovely. Love that. Love that for me. Right, and then pop it in there. Bosh. So it's not ideal. And you know what? The, the plant is actually fighting those stakes. So I have to put them on an angle that actually counteracts where they want to fight to. Oh my goodness me. That is really difficult there. It's going to have to be it until it decides to move itself. So that's probably how it looks the cutest. I completely appreciate that. But if you want to know where the growth point is going, it's going towards me now. So not great, not great. But there you have it. That is a poorly reported, uh, what, philodendron pastazanum silver, should we say. It, it, it is lovely. Look at it. It's, it's very bonny. It's very, very bonny. Let me just move that forward. There you go. See, it's nice. If I just do a little swizzle. You see what I mean here? I've had to do my best to just stake it up, just to sort of start training it at least. Like, it's fine. It's not like the plowman eye where it was mad wobbly. But it just needs to be trained in a better direction than what it is. So, a little bit of time, a little bit of dusting off, and it'll be okay. So, absolute chaos in a way that we did not expect today. Like we did not expect this. But, I mean, everything else went kind of smoothly. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I'm going to love you and leave you because I'm, I, need to, I need to do something else that isn't this. If you like what you see, please leave a like on this video. It really, really helps. If you have not already subscribed, I'd love it if you could do that. My socials are on the screen. My merch and my feed are in the description. And I guess that's it. Hopefully, I'm feeling better at this point. I'm not currently as of recording this, but hopefully by the time these have all come out, I do feel a little bit better. So without further ado, I love you and leave you, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye!